So these are flowers all over the place. Those are pretty little clovers. And that's a red clover that hasn't bloomed yet. And beautiful little clovers and violets. And then I've got my wild azalea and my not wild azalea and my lady banks. Let's go look at them up close. Oh, and I have old Mardi Gras beads. I need to paint them. And I have winter sewing and I have blue bottles because blue bottles are supposed to capture evil spirits. Yeah, well, they're pretty. That's why I like them because they're pretty. And then I've got my cat finated cup. It's got a chip on it and I just love the cat because it's a black cat. And um, I've, if you, any of you know me, I've got a black cat. His name is Meow. Oh, this rose smells really nice. It's really very pretty and usually I don't smell it, but today it is in full smell. You've heard about full bloom? Well, it's full smell too. And usually I have to tangle the uh, honeysuckle out of it. So that's what it looks like up close in the sunlight. I usually get pictures of it in the nighttime because it's prettier. And I have lots of edible goldenrod growing in here. And I don't know what kind of grasses those are, but I do know that I've got a juga really big ajuga and the ajuga would be so pretty if I got everything out else out but some of it's chocolate mint and I paid eight or ten dollars for the first chocolate mint that I had and this this hydrangea it, it's supposed to be multi-colored um, variegated and I think it's healing and it does it no longer has very much variegated on it I don't know why it healed but they say that it's some kind of aberration when it's variegated and a mutation or something but the mutation's going away lemon balm violets oh a maple tree and what is that thing that's a hydrangea it's a dolores hydrangea and it will be pretty later but right now it's not and then in all of its pink glory a wild azalea and a birdhouse. Yes. A mountain or a cloud of pink glory. I think it's a Carolina, but I don't know. So pretty. Sometimes these things are not as pretty up close as they are from a distance. Yes, I still want to make that butterfly into a... Um, not Mackenzie Child's butterfly with checkerboard on it. I could easily say uh, not Country Sampler or Serbajanki or any of the other pl designs that, or design houses or design catalogs or whatever that use checkerboard a lot. But anyway, this cherry tree is gonna be trimmed and I have one sunflower going in that little not or no transplant winter sowing. And I made a butterfly bath yesterday. So I need to do something with that. I need to add fruit to it to really attract the butterflies. And you know, I don't use a weed whacker around everything. I should. Then everything would look so pristine and I wouldn't have as many flowers. The nasturtium is still blooming. The grapevine is starting to climb all over my two Althea, that, three Althea that just sprang up, sprung up. And I don't know if you can see that lizard, but there was a lizard that appeared. And anyway, I make my own little bit of art. It's probably tacky. And that, that uh, mailbox used to be on the grill that came over here 
This is another azalea that's about to bloom. And it's got a hawthorn tree growing up in. I, the hawthorn tree has been gone for over 10 years, but the roots are still making babies. So I just bend it over. And so I could paint that so that it's a better bird bath. I need to. But yeah, there's, there are a lot of things that need to be done to this corner. There are loads of spider webs in this corner. And I could paint these wheels so they'd be, you know, more interesting. I'm going to probably. I moved the carrots to the end of this little walk only because it gets shade earlier and I want I know I'd know that carrots are not a hot growing you know plant but they like shade a little bit more like they like cool a little bit more that's what I'm imagining so and I do put my avocado seeds in and I do have some beautiful pussy willows that are growing. They look like Harry's walking sticks. And some of the sticks look dead, but they've got babies growing up from the bottom. And this right here is an amulanture. I thought it was gone and dead, but no, it sprang back. And then the cherry trees have lots of saplings. And I offered to let somebody have some, but anyway, I'm pretty sure that my yard has turned a lot of people into um, Brady cats because the thing is, is it's it's not so great to have so many weeds, even though they are meadow weeds that came from horse manure. And I have no clue what is in that bird house door, but it's a white thing. And I guess I could take a closer look at it using my camera. It's very weird looking. It's like, what is that? And this is the Mahonia that I need to get all the seeds off when they're turning black and make some kind of jelly. I bought some jelly yesterday. Oh, something delicate has bloomed. It's not covered in blossoms, but it's also not fully in bloom yet. The eyes came off this cherry tree. It still has a nose. And that is a hydrangea with entirely too much vinca and honeysuckle around it. I'm going to get the weed eater out today and work on that. And then there's a beautiful um, buckeye that's about to bloom. I don't know if you can see the little red blossoms that are beginning to bloom. And there was supposed to be an elderberry in there. So I have to look for the elderberry. All right. This is very peaceful. <laughs>